What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on WWE Stomping Ground. It is a new pay-per-view, it's going to be coming out this coming weekend. It looks like so far it's going to be pretty interesting, and I have all the matches right in front of me. So, like always, let's get right into this. Up first we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus Heavy Machinery. Ever since coming up from NXT, Heavy Machinery, I've enjoyed everything they've been doing. I enjoyed what they were doing in NXT. So I'm pretty happy that they get a chance to face the SmackDown Tag Team Champions for the titles. As you guys know, as ever since Daniel Bryan came out of retirement, I've always felt like WWE was pushing him too much when they already had talent that's been here at the time that he was already retired and they've been proving themselves. And as soon as he came back from retirement, he started to get pushed a lot more for championships than any of the other people that's been here the past three years since he's been retired. So I just feel like they pushed him way too much. And for me, I don't like his whole earth gimmick. I don't like everything about that. I know that's what Dana Bryan stands for in real life, but I just don't like the gimmick so much. I don't like that he's heel. Rowan, however, I'm happy that he has some sort of role after returning from his injury. So that's pretty interesting there. I just wish that they included Harper. Luke Harper would have been awesome either in this as a trio or just teaming up with Rowan as a new tag team gimmick. Something like that would have been interesting and not with Daniel Bryan or for him to have a solo career. But for this match here, my prediction is going to be heavy machinery. I think that'd be great to beat Daniel Bryan, somebody that everybody is usually a fan of. And Rowan to become the new tag team champions of SmackDown. I think that'd be very interesting. So that is my final prediction. Next up is Big E and Xavier Woods. Basically New Day versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Something tells me that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn may win this match. However, my prediction is going to be that Big E and Xavier Woods win this match. One thing that I want to mention for this match though... Something tells me that in the future, since Big E returned from injury not too long ago, WWE might be breaking up the New Day. And in my opinion, I wouldn't be really happy with that because they've been dominating for years. They've branched outside of WWE with Up, Up, Down, Down and other things that they're working on outside of the company. And to have them split up might not make sense with their other projects, if that makes any sense. But what I'm getting at is something tells me Big E in the future may attack Kofi Kingston and then may have a one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Championship. I think that'd be interesting if they were to do it, but I honestly wouldn't be a fan of it. But something tells me WWE is leading up to that. This match here, my final prediction is still going to be Big E and Xavier Woods. Next is going to be the United States Championship match. Samoa Joe versus Ricochet. Samoa Joe is a two-time champion. He's been dominating. He's been doing great things. Ricochet is a fast opponent. Ever since coming up from NXT, he's had a couple other opportunities. The Raw Tag Team Championship, Money in the Bank. He's been doing great things as well. One thing that I think is odd that WWE keeps repeating is having Samoa Joe, who is a big guy, and if he catches you, he can make you tap out very easily, aka Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. I can't remember how long it was, but it was just a couple seconds, and he made him tap out. So to have smaller guys like Ricochet and Rey Mysterio face Samoa Joe for the championship repeatedly, I don't know how I feel about that. Something tells me that Ricochet with his speed, it might come in favor for him. But if once again, if Samoa Joe catches him, it might be over really quick. This match here, because it's Ricochet this time, I'm going to say my final prediction is going to be Ricochet is going to win. But I think it's going to steam an even bigger rivalry between these two. And I think it's going to continue for a couple more weeks, maybe even a couple more months. So final prediction for this match is going to be Ricochet. Next is the Cruiserweight Championship match. We have the champion Tony Nese versus Akira Tozawa versus Drew Gulak. Honestly, Akira, Akira Tozawa has won the championship before. So it's kind of interesting that he's keeps getting opportunities for it. He's definitely proving himself in the ring to get these opportunities. This match here, I know Tony Nese just won it at WrestleMania not too long ago, but in my opinion, Akira Tozawa has nothing else going for him right now. He might as well become the Cruiserweight Champion because he is one, in my opinion, one of the top guys in the Cruiserweight division. So for him to be the Cruiserweight Champion makes sense. That is my final prediction for this match. Next up is going to be Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Once again, this match happened at WrestleMania. 
But with everything with Shane McMahon and Elias that's been happening, everybody that's been going against Roman Reigns, this match is going to be very interesting. Something tells me that The Miz is going to be trying to help out Roman Reigns because you already know that Shane McMahon and possibly Elias are going to be trying to help out Drew McIntyre. So maybe The Miz can attempt to make things even in a way, give Roman Reigns a little bit more help. That'd be interesting to see. But this time, Roman Reigns won at WrestleMania. This time, I think it's going to go to Drew McIntyre. I think there's going to be a lot more stuff happening with this rivalry, with this feud coming up soon in future pay-per-views and for the next couple months, maybe just weeks. I don't know. But my final prediction for this match is going to be Drew McIntyre. Next is going to be the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bailey, who cashed in her Money in the Bank briefcase on Becky Lynch. This match here, I was actually really happy that she won the championship. She's going to be facing Alexa Bliss, who I'm excited that she is getting an opportunity for a championship once again. But going against the SmackDown Women's Champion, whenever she is, I believe, part of Raw. I might be wrong on that, but I thought Alexa Bliss was part of Raw. But anyways, having them face each other, it's going to be a great match in my opinion. I think it's going to be very interesting. I would love to see Alexa Bliss as the champion yet again. But Bailey just won it not too long ago. I think Bailey is going to retain it in this match. That's my final prediction. I just don't want Bailey to lose it this soon. I would love to see Alexa Bliss win the championship in the future. But I really want Bailey to retain it for now. Because she just won it not too long ago. The next match is the Raw Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans yet again. This match here, Lacey Evans came up from NXT. Right now, I'm not sold on her gimmick. I'm not sold on what she can do in the ring yet. Very interesting choice going after Becky Lynch, going after the man, going after the whenever she was the two-time champion, the Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion. Very interesting for her to do that. I just don't think it's her time to win the championship quite yet. Maybe in the future, maybe in a couple weeks, a couple months, down the line, she'll have an opportunity and win the championship against Becky Lynch one-on-one. -on -one, I just don't see it happening. So my final prediction for this match is going to be Becky Lynch. Next up is going to be the Universal Championship match, Seth Rollins versus Baron Corbin. This match here, I'm very excited to see what happens because of it. This match here just happened at the last pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia, so... To have a repeat, I don't really know how I feel about that. But Seth Rollins versus Baron Corbin, like I said, after WrestleMania. Baron Corbin beating Kurt Angle at WrestleMania at Kurt Angle's farewell match. To me, he's going to have great things in the future. He's going to have bigger opportunities, championship opportunities. And that is what we are seeing right now, which I am extremely happy for. I just wish they would change his gimmick up a little bit and maybe have it more like... He was before, just with the short hair. I don't know, it's it's be interesting to see what happens. But he's getting his championship opportunities, which I'm extremely happy for. He lost to Seth Rollins at the Saudi Arabia pay-per-view. But this time, I think he's going to have a little bit more in him. But I still think Seth Rollins is going to retain his championship. I'm just happy that Baron Corbin is getting opportunities. But I still don't think it's his time yet. But he is proving himself having these opportunities and seeing what he does in the ring. Final prediction for this match, though, is going to be Seth Rollins retaining the Universal Championship. And the last match is going to be for the WWE Championship. It is Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler yet again. They faced each other at Saudi Arabia pay-per-view. But this time they're going to be in a steel cage match. Which I'm happy to see WWE changing up a couple matches from the last pay-per-view a couple weeks ago in Saudi Arabia. This one here making it a steel cage match is going to be a little bit more special in my opinion. Because as we know, both Kofi Kingston and Adolf Ziggler can do high-flying moves if they need to. They are pretty quick, so to climb over the cage might not take them long at all. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see... Who comes out to help who out? Like I said, I think Big E in the future may turn on the rest of the New Day. So if that happens in this match, it's going to be interesting to see. Or if Drew McIntyre or if uh, anybody else that is against Kofi Kingston were to come out to try to help Dolph Ziggler win, that would be interesting as well. It's going to be a very tough match to judge, but because Kofi Kingston just won it not too long ago, won the WWE Championship, I don't think he's going to lose it quite yet. I think he might lose it around SummerSlam. That's maybe when he's going to hold it till. 
but I don't think he's going to lose it yet, and I don't think it's going to be against Dolph Ziggler. Nothing against Dolph Ziggler, but the problem I have with Dolph Ziggler is he's been away from the company for months, doing his stand-up comedy, which I can honestly respect, but the reason that they put him in the Saudi Arabia pay-per-view is because Kofi, sorry, is because Kevin Owens backed out. He said he didn't want to go to Saudi Arabia, which I can also respect. So they had to push somebody in, so they used Dolph Ziggler. And it's interesting to see Dolph Ziggler that he has returned. I just don't think it's going to be permanent because he has so many things on the go. And it'd be interesting to see what happens if he does stay, if he does decide to do more comedy stuff and back away from the company once again. So that's why I don't think he's going to be winning the WWE Championship because he has so much on the go right now. There's no point for him to hold the championship quite yet until he knows that he's going to be staying in WWE for a longer period of time. So my final prediction for this match is going to be Kofi Kingston retaining the WWE Championship. So these are my thoughts and predictions on WWE Stomping Ground. This pay-per-view, the whole concept behind it was a little bit odd. I didn't even know about it until after the Saudi Arabia pay-per-view. Then they announced it saying in two weeks they're going to be having a Stomping Ground pay-per-view, which... I don't know, to me it's out of the norm for WWE, but for WWE making these random pay-per-views pop up every once in a while, they're starting to do it more and more. I'm not so much of a fan of it, especially when a couple of these matches were the same exact matches from the Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia pay-per-view a couple weeks ago. To have pretty much a repeat on a few of the matches makes no sense and I do not like that. But it is going to be interesting to see what happens. Maybe the outcomes of this pay-per-view are going to be different from Saudi Arabia. Who knows? But I hope you guys did enjoy this pay-per-view prediction video. Hope you guys are excited for Stomping Ground. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. And maybe some of these matches may change before then. Like I said, it's going to be this weekend. But I am going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.